y'all gonna have a party without me? Y'all must have forgot. I am the body. I'm Candace Atkins with WHUR Digital. In the space right now, I got some movers, some shakers, the new, <laughs> and a little bit of some of everything. Actor Rashawn Fagan and artist Lloyd is back on campus. Welcome to WHUR Digital. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Honored to be back. I'm so happy you guys are here. So let's talk about this. The Bobby DeBarge biopic. So you're you're acting as Bobby DeBarge. What research you have to do for this film? Oh, as much as possible. I you know, I try to find as much stuff as I could on, on the internet and you know, on YouTube. But it really wasn't that much stuff on him because he had a really short time span uh, of releasing music and doing music. And yeah, you know, I, I had to really just dig deep into it, you know, talking to friends of his and the director Russ Parr had, you know, a, a lot of information to give me. Uh, his widow Terry DeBarge is executive producer of the film, so she gave me a lot of insight as well. But that's really all I had. It wasn't uh, too deep. Did you learn anything from the DeBarge family during this film? Yeah, uh, yeah, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about Bobby. Obviously, uh, didn't know he was the mastermind behind you know, the whole sound and, and really just a. That, that new wave falsetto that he put into not just him, but then his, his brothers and sisters after him and the whole movement, you know. So I learned a lot about him. Um, didn't know his life was that dark and that deep um, and that he went through so much, you know, pain and, and, and craziness. And uh, I just learned that, that it was important for his story to go. You are in the film as Greg Williams. This is your your first <laughs> acting, <laughs> acting debut role. <laughs> Yeah, this is my first time on, on camera in this capacity, and um, I'm here to say that it's a totally different beast. I have a newfound respect for all filmmakers, for anyone who creates film, uh, that brings into tuition their ideas, uh, or into movies, and uh, it was one of the most enjoyable experiences. It was very unique, I think, the set, the setup uh, from Russ directing to Roe and Blue and, and Matt. Uh, everybody was, was very, very kind to me and uh, very helpful. So I had a great time. Tell us who Greg Williams was. Greg Williams was the founding member of Bobby DeBarge's first band, which is called Switch. Uh, they call themselves Switch because they were all instrumentalists, musicians, uh, songwriters, and they all switched instruments in their set. So one guy starts off here, he ends up over here by the end of the show. And um, they came up with songs like I'll Call Your Name, They'll Never Be, a few others. And he was also a childhood friend of Bobby's. As um, he was just mentioned that artists have a dark space, you're an artist. Is it a, quite a few artists that have those dark spaces when it comes to um, artistry and creativity and their craftsmanship? Uh, well, I haven't found an artist who doesn't have a dark space. It is actually a bit of the dark that creates the light, in a sense, or highlights the light of a person. And what's most inter interesting to me as an artist, as a father, as a son, is where that pain comes from, you know, where it stems from, how it became to define a person. Uh, and sometimes, like, you know, when you don't know much about a person, you think, oh, they just start making money and lost control. But in this case in particular, it's very important because it stems from one's childhood when they were very fragile and impressionable and had to carry and learn how to live with them. This film um, is a message to all artists. Do you all agree? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a film for all artists, but pretty much everyone. Everyone. Yeah. And, and all artists, I think it's a message for all fathers. I said on Father's Day that um, the film was important because it highlights how um, influential um, a father's relationship with their kids uh, last throughout that person uh, in their life. I also think it's important a uh, movie for children because um, it highlights how important it is for children to have a voice and an outlet to speak on their experiences honestly and openly. 
Wow. What's, what's next for you guys? Uh, well, after this, uh, I'm promoting this, this new music and movement that I uh, got called Evo. It's uh, just trying to, you know, do what the greats do. Just change the game and create some new waves. So, sonically and, and, and just musically, pushing the boundaries and, and getting back to the music. I was on Disney Channel and doing that for a long time, but it kind of works where it's like when I'm not acting, I'm um, the music focuses and then I'm back to acting somehow and back to the music. But I, I, I never really gave the music the true time and um, effort as I wanted to um, until right about now. I think I'm in a place where I'm going to fully commit to it. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, this is Profound with Sean Fagan and Lloyd. We are delighted to have them in our WHY digital space. Make sure you go and check out the Bobby DeBarge biopic on CD1. And they are doing some amazing things. The biopic is amazing. You got to go see it. So go ahead. Get June 29th, 8 p.m. All right. The Bobby DeBarge story. Uh, CD1. Yeah. 8 p.m. and also playing uh, at 10 p.m. if you miss it. So check it. One more thing. So on the low, Lloyd is like jumping up and down, happy to be on Howard's campus. <laughs> I got a lot of love for Howard. Some great memories here. Uh, this is one of the first um, colleges that invited me to perform, to participate in a homecoming. Uh, I came here a few years back, and um, for maybe the second or third time. I haven't been back in a few years, but um, uh, man, it's just. Uh, a big source of pride. And your person. First time here, so I'm family. I'm moving in. Yes. Howard Love in the building. I'm Candace Agus with WHY Digital. Be sure to follow all of our social media sites. I'll see you guys soon.